hello there and time for another video tutorial and this time around we'll be having fun using uh, cycles and fluid simulation now I'll be using the default cube for my scene and I'm going to hit tab to switch from object to edit mode and control tab for the mesh select mode and I'll click face I'll hit now the A key to deselect all and move close to this edge right here and hold down ALT and right click to select this loop as you can see we have one, two, three, four faces selected and I'll move over here and click extrude individual now I'll move them out for two units and as you can see I'll hit 1 and 5 on my numeric keypad we have a plus sign here ok I'll now hit the A key to deselect all and A again to select all and I'll hit the S key to scale it down because I think it's pretty big as it is at about 0 0.5 now tab key to go to object mode and I'll hit shift A to add mess another cube now this cube right here the plus shape cube is going to be uh, our obstacle for the fluid simulation we click fluid at the physics panel and then obstacle and I'm going to set the volume initialization from volume to cell because we want for the fluid simulation to calculate the cell of our object since our object is hollow and every object in Blender is paper thin when made so I'm selecting cell and the obstacle uh, settings are pretty much ready now right click to select this cube and this cube is going to be our domain I'll hit 7 for the top ortho of you and hit the S key to scale my cube up at about there and Z for the wireframe mode just to take a better look and what we want here is for the plus uh, sign to be uh, at the inside of the domain object now the domain is still selected and I'm hitting the tab key to switch to edit mode and I'll hit S and Y to scale it on the Y axis and I'm going to scale it down and I'm doing this since the fluid is going to be only in the plus sign so we don't want our domain to be all that big now tab key for our domain let's set the settings for our domain click fluid I'm at the physics panel again and I'll select domain now I'll set the resolution to 180 for my domain and what's also important and we have 240 frames here at 30 frames per second and that means that we're having 8 seconds of animation so the start is set to 0 and I'll set the end from 4 to 8 just because we want our fluid to be you know moving in real time in the actual time now let's change a few settings more I'll click domain world I think we're ok here and the domain boundary and I'll change the surface smoothing from 1 to 2 now time to add the object that will uh, actually add the, flu uh, the fluid to our scene and it will be an inflow I'll hit shift A to add mesh and ecosphere 
hit the S key to scale the ecosphere down and about there and one on my numeric keypad and I'm going to move the ecosphere up hit the G key to grab it and the Z key to constrain movement on the Z axis and move it up and I want to make sure that the ecosphere is in the plus uh, sign, the plus shape and I also want to hit the G key to grab and the Z key to constrain movement on the Z axis and I also want to make sure that my uh, inflow object doesn't touch the plus shape. Now time to set this object to for our fluid simulation. I'm clicking fluid and I'll click inflow. Now one thing we have to change for our inflow and I'm talking about the inflow velocity values I'm going to change the Z from 0 to minus 1 and I'm doing this because I want uh, my fluid to move down at the minus Z action, uh, axis excuse me so there is some force at the minus Z axis and just because I want it not to fall straight down I'm going to set the X value 0 0.3 and the Y value to 0 0.3 as well. So we're having some force down and at the positive X and positive Y and it's going to fall a bit here uh, at about this corner of the of the plus sign. Now I'll rename my object. This ecosphere here is the inflow. This cube is a domain. And this right here is the obstacle. Now another thing I'm going to do now I'll hit Shift D to duplicate my obstacle, the plus sign, and you can see the duplicate right here. I'll hit uh, the right mouse button to cancel any movement, and I'm going to uh, click X here at the fluid because we don't want uh, this object to affect uh, our fluid simulation. And I'm going to hit the Tab key to switch from object to edit mode. I'll hit W and select subdivide and I'll click extrude individual ok once more A to deselect all, A to select all, extrude individual right click to cancel the movement for our extruded faces and I'll zoom in click here and select individual origins and I'll hit the S key to scale the faces down at about there and I'll hit delete to delete faces. I'm building some sort of cage right here for our fluid simulation and I'm going to rename this one from obstacle point 001 to cage. Now tab key to go to object mode and I'm, I'm, I'll also hit shift A to add mesh a plane. Now one on my numeric keypad to switch to front off of you. I'll hit G and Z to constrain movement on the Z axis, grab it and move it, move it down and I'll hit the S key to scale my plane at about there. Now one for front off of you. Select my cage, right click to select it. I'll hit the comma key on my numeric keypad, the one that uh, has Dell on it, just to center the cross, the cage object, and I'll hit Control Alt 0 just to 
place my camera I'm going to right click this frame right here to select the camera and I'm going to move it back I till and see the, uh, the entire structure the entire plus uh, sign in the camera frame I'll also right click the plane to select it and I'll hit the S key and X to scale it on the X axis now my scene is pretty much ready I'm going to hit the Z key to switch to solid view and what I'm going to do now is right click to select the obstacle object and what we want to do here is uh, click the eye icon so we won't be seeing the obstacle in our viewport and the camera icon because we also don't want our obstacle to be rendered we just want it to be used by the fluid simulation now I think we're ready and one thing we will uh, need to do uh, after baking our simulation we will select the domain object let's select the domain and uh, bake the simulation and after baking what we're going to do is to scale up the cage a bit because since the cage and the obstacle serve the same space if you bake the fluid now you're going to see the fluid covering the cage now I'm going to switch from blender render to cycles render and what I'm going to do now is select the domain move to the materials here click new and I'm going to select to change the surface from diffuse BSDF to glass I'm also going to pick a color let's make it a light blue and change the roughness from 0 to 0 0.1 I'm now going to save my scene. I'm going to save it as fluid sim. And I'm also going to hit 7 on my numeric keypad. So I'm going to right click to select my light, hit the J key to grab it, move it over here and one on the numeric keypad hit G and Z to move my light down and zero just to see again through the camera and I'm going to go over here at the world settings and click use nodes we have the surface set to background and I'm going to click right here at the color and change it from uh, just the solid black color to a sky texture so we're set now and what I'm going to do is to open a scene that has the fluid already baked and let's select the domain just to see another thing okay we're good I'm going to open the plus fluid and hit the left arrow key on my keyboard to move for a few frames and as you can see here I've changed the scale for my cage from 1 to 1.025 just to make sure that the fluid stays within the cage and doesn't uh, cover it and I've also moved the plane and the floor just a bit down it was at minus 1.5 and I've also moved it down a bit now I'll hit 0 for the camera view I've also changed the integrator from 50 to 300 and also changed the settings a bit and let's hit render to see how an, an image looks
so this is pretty much what it looks I think it looks okay it also moves pretty realistically and I'll be giving uh, some video examples of this I'll hit the escape key if you don't want to render the cage you can easily select it and click the camera icon and even the eye icon to restrict visibility in the viewport and I'm going to render again so this is it we've used an object and obstacle object to help us with our fluid simulation you can use all sorts of objects you can change the color of your fluid for different effect and that's pretty much it uh, I'd like to see you creating your own uh, obstacles, your own fluid simulations as you can see here we don't uh, you don't have to use such a high uh, you know uh, resolution for our fluid it looks pretty much as it is and it also renders pretty fast because we've set the integrator samples to a fairly uh, low render value so hope you enjoyed this feel free to make your own fluid simulations and see you at uh, the next video tutorial